Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim and I am here with yet another Project Pan update. This is for the Child of the 80s Project Pan. It's a Pantastic Ladies collab and this was created by Jaylon. All the information will be listed in the description box below along with the list of prompts that we were able to randomly select from to match our products to. So let me start off with the first product that I had in the project. So the first product that I had was for prompt number 12, and that was for Footloose, a, problem, a product that would have been forbidden when you were a teen. And I always think this bright pink lipstick would have been something that would have been prohibited for me or forbidden. This stayed the same as far as height goes. Um, I, I am wearing it a bit right now. I've used it a couple of times, but not a ton. So it stayed the same. The next product I had was for prompt number 31, which was Betamax, a product that is small but mighty. And for that, I chose the Hydro Grip Primer from Milk. And this went from 11.06 to 10.44. And I'm here now at the top. I started down here. So I only have this much left to go because it is an airless pump. I am hoping that this is done by next update. That way I can roll a new prompt in and that would be really fun. Um, the next prompt was number 38 and that was for light bright, something that makes your skin shine from within. And for that, I chose the Becca primer. This is the Becca first light primer. And I started with it here and now I'm all the way down there. So I have about half left and I really think that I could finish this by the end of the project if I don't keep throwing primers in because I do have a few other ones in my project pan. Um, the next product I have, um, oh, so that went from 105.7 to 105.01. So yay, I made some progress. The next product I have is for the setting spray from Too Faced. And that was for prompt number 29, the Walkman, something you have purchased or used over and over and over and over because you can keep rewinding the tape over and over. So I did choose this um, setting spray and this was, um, I have never purchased this setting spray, but I'm always using a setting spray. So I thought I'll put that in and it'll be like the thing that I use over and over and over. And then the next prompt was for number one, girls just want to have fun and it's a fun or colorful item. And for that, I chose an eyeliner from Unique and it's in the shade Presumptuous and it's a really pretty blue color. I don't know if you can see it because it's like colored because of my shadows and stuff, but it also stayed the same. I have used it a few more times, but it wasn't enough to make a line. So I don't know. And then the next one, so that stayed the same. The, then the next one I had was for prompt number 40. And that was a wild card. You come up with your own. So I came up with the prompt back to the basics. And I feel like the 80s was like basic, like just basic everything um, minus the color and the hair. But I feel like, you know, we didn't have cell phones. We didn't have all these video games. We didn't have, you know, cordless phones. All this stuff now, the technology, you know, we were back to the basics. So for that, I chose a basic skincare product, which is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. And this started off at... Um, or well, this was 145.57 last update and it's 139.82 and I'm getting down there. I feel like I have a little bit less than half the jar in some areas. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and that should be, you know, should be finished before the end of the year. So hopefully I can roll something else in for that one. And then the next product I chose was for prompt number 23, which I always, always laugh at. So if you've watched this update all the way through, 
it's for the prompt I've fallen and I can't get up and if you wonder why I keep laughing go back and look at some of my other videos and I've explained but it's a product that I gave into buying and that was the Charlotte Tilbury um, airbrush flaw flawless finishing powder and I have been using this a little bit it went from 60.83 to 60.61 so I've used it a little bit not enough to like really make a dent or anything like that and then the final product I had was for the Marc Jacobs eyeliner prompt number 16 which was the Lost Boys which is a black or vampy item and I'm still at this lower line I did use it today for my liner um, I've used it a few times, but nothing to like write home about and have any sort of progress lines on. So I'm hoping that this will be finished by the next update so that I can roll in something else and finally have a change because I feel pretty silly that all of my goals were to pan them. Like, I feel like this is going to take me forever, this Charlotte Tilbury powder, this will probably be around till almost the end of the year. The setting spray, maybe not so much, so I might be able to roll something else in. The liners, they're gonna be around. This lipstick's gonna be around forever and ever, forever and ever. Sing with me. And then I haven't even had anything to drink. And then this lotion, I mean, this will be around until it's done. So there's my update. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like me, please consider subscribing. And I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. I'll talk with you soon. Bye.